Wag on YouTube, it's Kyle KX5 back again with another video and today what I'm doing is if you might have seen me opening the box the other day I got the fucking FFAR and my first, the first one, that weapon bribe, that very first thing you got if you have the season pass you got on free and 10 free supply drops and yeah I opened that weapon bribe and banged out the wrench and the FFAR or the FAMAS whatever you want to call it in the first one so that was fucking sweet and uh, yeah I've been absolutely session the shit out of this gun as you can probably tell I've got dark matter and kill counter on it already yes I'm a sweaty bastard I know that so yeah I, I, this is going to be basically my little review of the FFAR what I think of it and yeah so basically I think it's fucking sick and I don't know if that's just because it's a new gun I've not had any new guns so far in this game up until this point and then in the last couple of days I've got the MX Grand and this which is crazy but yeah this gun it's a fucking machine. It just it's, it's it's probably Nuketown as well. I think it's Nuketown that really plays to this gun because it's got such a crazy fire rate. It's got such a well, it's not got such a small clip size, but the the, the fire rate just makes it feel like it's got a really small clip. So I think extended mags that and fast mags also are two absolute essential attachments on this gun. It's like um, it's like the Vespa of the assault rifles. Like it's impressive if you manage to get like three kills in a clip with it without extended mags, because it's just fires so stupid fast. And also, the accuracy. Oh my lord, the recoil is just not. It's just awful. It's just awful. Is the only way to put it. It's controllable, but it's just really bad. Like I couldn't shoot across Newtown. Like if I was sitting on the blue car, there was someone over on the red car. It, I'd struggle to I'd struggle to kill them. I'd have to probably keep tapping my trigger over and over and just firing off a couple of bullets. But yeah, it's it's just it's really not got the uh, the recoil is not great. But that's what that's what it says in the description. It says fastest fire rate, and it sacrifices this because of the recoil. But the Nuketown, like I say, Nuketown just plays to this gun's strengths. It's so close range, you can get up close and personal. You play with it like it's a submachine gun, and uh, yeah, wax stock on it. I'll tell you my setup for this. I've got the um, ELO site obviously, I've got extended mags and fast mags like I mentioned before, stock and grip and uh, yeah I, you might be like wow it's got grip on it, it's still recording like a fucking crazy bitch but yeah I don't, honestly without grip it's just it's just nothing, it's not even feasible like it's just recoiling all over the place but yeah I'd say grip, stock, extended mags, fast mags that is what you want and then I've got, on this glass I've got ELO sight because no one on their team was running any stuns or flashes or anything so I took off tack mask and got ELO sight so I've got two different setups with it one with ELO without tack mask one with tack mask without ELO because the iron sights on this gun as well the iron sights are actually fucking sweet like they're, they're not bad at all like some guns in this game the iron sights are horrendous and you can't use them but yeah this the iron sights on this are really nice don't, don't mind them at all so yeah you're running around with this like a submachine gun it's a uh, you can't really sit on a head glitch with this. You'll just get picked off uh, by every other assault rifle in the game. Even the HRK just picks you off at longer range, just because it's much more accurate. So, yeah, once you've if you've got this gun, if you're lucky enough to have this gun, definitely run around with it, rush a little bit. You can't you can't really post up. You just can't. So yeah, give it a go. It's it's actually it's a melt machine once you do that. I tried rapid fire on it. But obviously the fire rate's just stupid already, and I, I didn't eat, honestly I could not notice a single bit of difference with rapid fire on, so just thought that was a bit of a pointless attachment. Long barrel, I haven't had a proper go with long barrel, and oh one sec, let me just pick up that cheeky quad feed. I haven't had a go with long barrel yet. I don't know what it's like, but I don't ever really go for the long range shots, so I'm not sure how effective it'll be, just because it's just so shit at long range. But that that might that might make it better. You never know, but it's not going to do anything to the recoil. And that kid just thought he could fucking hide there. No way, mate. No way. So yeah, we're coming to the end of this game now. Um, I don't know if you saw. I uh, absolutely torch it up in this game. <laughs> it's not always like this. It's the thing. It's sometimes it's an on and off gun. This, but yeah, like from from what I've been using, I've got like what is that? Nearly 1,500 kills. I think that is nearly on the kill counter. And uh, yeah, so I've been session it a bit. 71 for 13 was the final score in that game. Not too shabby, not too shabby. I haven't had any nukes of it so far. I had one, because I've been just going through the levels, getting the um, kill counter. I had one when I just about got... I didn't have any of the good attachments. I had, like, grip and quick draw, and that was it. And I went on a 23 or 24 or something. So let me know if you want to see that. Um, I might not. I've got quite a few nice little four or five man just turn-ons and shit as well with it. So I might make a little a um, FFAR montage. Drop a like if you like this one. Drop a subscribe if you're a Babylon. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you on the next one.